hate all you cool cats and kittens. Nah, I'm just kidding. Hello friends and felines and welcome back to my channel. If you don't understand the reference I just made, then you obviously haven't watched The Tiger King on Netflix. To be honest though, I don't know why it's the number one trending thing on Netflix right now. I've only watched four episodes, so I haven't finished the whole thing. But honestly, I don't know if I can take any more. Like, I love animals too much. Like, just seeing all of those animals and those tigers and big cats just being treated poorly. I mean, I think everyone on that show, like, ends up, should be in jail or get eaten by their own tigers. So, that's just my personal opinion. But other than that, for today's video, I am doing the next color in my rainbow series, which is orange. To do that, I have a brand new palette, thanks to my boyfriend. It is the 3503 Morphe palette. It is the Fierce by Nature. So this is what she looks like. Shout out to my boyfriend again. Um, I was thinking for orange, I didn't have a lot of options to use. So this one has a bunch of different colors and shades and a pressed glitter that I can use for today's look. Um, so here is, um, I did a quick swatch already of some of the shades. So from top to bottom, we have Consume, Embers, Ball of Fire, Explode, and Make Believe. I have an idea of what I want to do for today's look, but again, we'll see if it actually turns out to what I had in mind. So if you would like to see how I create that look using this palette today, then definitely keep on watching. Wow, now we are up close and personal. So I'm going to start off with my eyes today. I've already primed my one eye with my Anastasia Beverly Hills paint pot. And I put um, a piece of tape here. I know it's been like kind of frowned upon, but I want to make sure I get a nice sharp angle today with the look that I'm going to create. Um, so I'm going to experiment more with my Sigma brushes that I recently got. I've only played around with like two of the six that I got. So we're going to jump right in. I think first I'm going to go in with the color Ball of Fire, which is right here. And I'm going to start that on the crease. And I think I'm going to do kind of a cut crease today and then smoke out my lash line with some black and get that nice contrast, kind of like Halloween colors. I mean, Halloween is 365 days a year. If you're that kind of person, then I appreciate you. All right, so I'm going in with the E70 medium angled shading brush because I'm going to work on the outer crease and getting that sharp line on the edge of my eye. Now these oranges are pretty pigmented, so there probably will be some fallout. So that's kind of why I'm doing them first instead of my foundation. Oh yeah, that's a pretty color. I'm gonna bring it out pretty far today because I kind of want it to be a dramatic look because I'm a dramatic person. Actually, the reason why my boyfriend got me this palette, well, first of all, I told him that the Jeffree Star Morphe collab was on sale and that, you know, kind of suggested that he buy it for me. And then he surprised me by getting this one too. And apparently I've been a little fierce and fiery lately since we've been cooped up at home. Well, at least he's been cooped up and I still have to go to work. Either way, whatever his reason was, I am very appreciative and... You know, I don't think this is actually a palette I would have originally bought in, but now that I have it, I think it's really cool. I don't know. Anyone else think that, like, they see a palette online and they're like, eh, it's all right, but then, like, when you actually get in person, it looks a lot better? Because I am one of those people. Because, like, even, like, the Jeffree Star Morphe collab, I wasn't intrigued by it at first, but now that I have it in person, I'm like, wow, this is actually really cool. Um, so I hopefully will be doing a look with that in the near future. And then I also bought the two Jeffree Star palettes that I didn't have yet, which was Androgyny and Beauty Killer. So once those come in on Monday, I think I will have all of his eye palettes, including the Alien palette, which is now discontinued, unfortunately. So wow, this pigment is going on. It is there. It is blending. It is beautiful. I'm gonna take this all the way in. 
I don't know, some people say like they don't like Morphe eyeshadows. They think they're cheap. But I've never had an issue with them. I mean, I do like my higher end stuff. And I do like Morphe's. I don't see anything wrong with it. Alright, so there is the basic crease going on. Now I'm going to take a fluffier brush. This is the E40 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to go in with a lighter shade to buff out the edges. And that one is going to be Consume, which is right up here. I think this brush might be a little too big to be honest. I don't have a lot of eye space between my like lid and my brow so it's always a struggle for me. All right so I'm just going to go in with a little bit of a smaller one and still using circling motions to kind of buff out the edges. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Explode, which is a more reddish orange color right here. I'm going to pack this onto my outer corner using the Luxie 239 Precision, Precision Shader, just to get a little bit more depth and definition in the outer corner. are some powerful colors and they are making me very excited for summer. Can't wait for it to be warm and hopefully by summer this whole fires thing will be over with because I've got concerts and birthdays and maybe some traveling to do. So please let there be an end to this madness, I swear. So now I'm going to cut the crease really quick and go in with this shimmer shade right here which is called Embers. I am loving this look so far. Now, just for the extra little bam on the center of the lid, I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here, which is Make Believe, and it is a nice pressed glitter. So, I'm just going to go in with my finger and pack that onto the lid. Okay, so now I'm just going to tidy up a little bit and do a little bit more blending on this giant blending brush just to make the edges kind of disappear. All right, the next step now is to smoke out the lash line. So they do have a black in here, which is called Smoked Out, which I can't think it'd be any perfect of a name. So it's just nice black color down here in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and use another Sigma brush. This is the E30 pencil brush. This is the perfect brush for, I think, doing this type of thing, smoking stuff out. Now let's see how this black shade performs. You know what? Yeah, she is there. She's falling out, but she's there. I was debating on even if I needed a liner, but this stuff might work by itself. So I think that is one lid all done, at least the top part. Um, so I'm going to go mimic this on the other side, put on my foundation, do my lower lash line, and I'll be right back. Okay, so can we talk about a little blooper for a second? I have these two things right here. One is an Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and the other one is a MAC Painterly Pink Pot. I don't know how long 
the caps have been switched, but the Anastasia cap was on the MAC cap and the cap for the MAC was on the Anastasia one. So I've been calling this Painterly Paint Pot Anastasia for a really long time now, I think, and I don't mean to because I was really confused because I was like, I thought I bought the Painterly Paint Pot in MAC and that that would belong to Mac. I was like, oh, Anastasia made one with the exact same name. That's a little weird. But now I just realized that I in fact did own the Mac one and I'm just a dumbass. So <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, it definitely is Mac. And it's just, I guess, hard because you don't see this first. You normally would just see the top, which is the Anastasia symbol. So the caps fit each other and they've been switched for, I don't know how long. So that's cool. All right, so I went ahead and finished most of my makeup. I threw on the style New York City by Lily Lashes and I am loving them. They are a nice thick band, which I like. They are soft, so they feel like they're actual mink, but they are faux mink. And I did the rest. I just have to put on some blush and some highlighter. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but my little kitty is sitting up here chilling. Um, so for blush, I don't have a lot of different blush. I'm not really big into blush, but I was thinking for this look to do something peachy, you know, pink with a hint of orange or something. So I went ahead and opened up this palette to see if there's something we could do in here. And what I think I'm going to do is like maybe one of these two or a mixture of them. So it is tempting and flame game, um, right here. They're kind of pigmented, so I have to go in with a light touch. So let me just swatch them really quick and see which one I like better. So those are the shades. Um, the pinker tone is the tempting and the other one is flame game. Um, so I'm thinking if I can do flame game and go in with a very light hand, it would actually be really pretty. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm doing is just tapping very lightly in the pan and then very lightly on my cheeks and then kind of blending it out. And that is a very pretty color. I'm gonna just dust a little on my nose. Are you enjoying watching me do my makeup? Hmm? I just woke up from a nap. I'm so good. Oh, that is a very pretty color. I am digging that. Okay, so um, when I went ahead and finished last my eyes, I did use a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Kilowatt uh, Highlighter. I put that in my inner corner and on my brow bone for a little bit of a yellow um, brightness to all of the orange going on. And I'm thinking I want to do this as my actual highlight as well. But it's like super pigmented and it's a little too dark for my complexion, so I want to go in like very lightly. Um, I never use a fan brush for highlight. I'm not a big fan of those, but I think we're going to attempt it today to see if I can do a light hand of this. She is there. See, like even a light hand and she is coming through. Now I think the only thing we have are the lips. Now I have an idea for what I want to do. I'm not sure if it's going to work. So let's hope that it does. Okay, so going with the theme of the colored look, I've done a lot of colored lips lately to match whatever color I'm doing for that day. I don't have any orange lipsticks. Like I have some peachy pinks, but kind of want to go with orange, do a whole monochromatic theme. So. What I'm attempting to do is go in with Jeffree Star um, in Drug Lord, the white liquid lip, and then maybe go in and pack an eyeshadow on top that is orange, and hopefully it will work. So let's give it a shot. White lips is such a weird thing. I don't know if anyone can pull off white lips. Yeah, so I have this Luxie 160 lip brush that I think I may have only used once, so this might be a little bit easier to do. All right, guys, so I think this is the completed look. I end up going in with Fenty Beauty's Glass Bomb and Diamond Milk as a lip gloss, which I think helped make the lips look a little better. Um, just to give one last spray. Mm. 
All right, guys, I hope you like this video. I can't wait to do the rest of the colors in the rainbow. So um, I hope you guys like the video. I think this orange look is very fierce, which is perfect that I use the Fierce by Nature palette by Morphe. So this was a fun palette to play with. I can't wait to play with it some more, play with a couple of green shades in there, as well as some of the more neutral shades. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you know when I post a video. I apologize for being absent for like the last week. I needed a week off, but I will be back and filming and playing with more makeup. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.